What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Grape Gang, aka the Grape Slushies, aka Grandpa Grapes, aka however else you want to bully me. I'm here. I can take it, but keep it, keep it fun. We're all friends here. Today in what's new in scootering, we got, it's a little light week, but uh, I'm coming for Austin, so I think he took all the good products for himself, but I got one product I'm very hyped on. In this episode, you're gonna be seeing all about the new Proto Clamps, Scooter Hate merch. Yep, they're still hating on us, but we're still here and making money off their hate. Gotta love that. We got new Lucky Wheels, three new signature ones, and of course, the new TSI Fender. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I'm gonna start out talking about some I'm super hyped about, the new Proto Full Knuckles. Yeah, let's get all three colors out here so you can enjoy them. If you're familiar with my scooter, I'm still running one of these bad boys, one of the OG ones, color pink, so you guys can't get that. But three colors are out right now. We got the raw, black, and gold. Uh, if you don't know about Proto, you're messing up. They are the inventor of the SCS. Comes out of America, American made. Andrew Broussard located in Vista, California, and that's where all the magic happened. If you've seen his old clips of him uh, riding a homemade Mega Ram, yeah, really cool. You should go check that out. So Andrew is like one of the oldest scooter riders in the business, and of course, Proto, hanging on. First scooter company, still around. Now the clamp itself has been updated. Since it is a full knuckle, it is four inches tall. That means if you are running a bar in the full knuckle, you're gonna be getting two inches instead of the 1.5 inches of additional height for an average SES. And uh, I use mine to kind of balance out my scooter. I'm running vault tie bars, a shameless plug. And uh, you know, just that little bit of extra weight in the front kind of helps a really nice full balance scooter. If you know the old Proto SCS, it only had M6 bolts. Now they have M8 bolts and looking like a, a six mil to tighten. So that's a big upgrade. And you can also tell that it's slightly offset right here. So you're gonna have a lot more threads to tighten. So it's just gonna last longer overall. If I didn't already say it, oversized and standard bars. So literally you can run anything with this. And I hope there's some limited edition colorways some more signatures coming out, but that's for the future. We'll see what else comes from them. It also has the spreader bolt. It does, does it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Cameraman James on it. Spreader bolt made it over. I was holding it, didn't see the spreader bolt. Look at that spreader bolt, nice and low on it. Sometimes these do rattle out, so if when you get it, you just wanna back it out and put it in someplace safe until you need it. Might be a good idea, or maybe just put a little Loctite on it, something like that. But there you go, this guy retails for $64.95. Definitely excited to have another proto clamp that fits full size bars, because I still have my baby SES, the old version, and uh, you know, I can't run my vault tie bars with it. So maybe I'll be picking up one of these, but I like the pink. Now, if you remembered the full knuckle, then you might remember something known as the half knuckle. Yes, the half knuckle is back. I've been waiting for it. And just like the full size, we have not one, not two, but three beautiful colors here. They're gonna fit great on any color scheme you have. And I say this is the best looking double clamp. I'm so glad that uh, they're back in these colors. I know for the last two years I've been missing it and I just remember seeing old custom builds with just the cleanest looking double clamp. It, it's so good. And just like the full size, has a shim, so it's gonna fit oversized and standard. So if you're running IHC, you can still be repping Proto. If you're running HIC, you can still be repping Proto. But like we always say here, if you're over like 140 pounds, make that jump to SCS. M8 bolts, six mil heads, nice and strong, and just so clean. Look at the beauty of those. And if you are using IHC on this one, then you probably care about weight, and the half knuckle comes in at 0.3 pounds. So it's gonna be heavier than, of course, your like Ethic Sylph or your MV double clamps, but for a clean look, you're not gonna notice too much. We got a little made in California right here. And this clamp is gonna set you back 39.95, but just like the full knuckle that I've been riding for now two years, these things are gonna last you. I already said it'll fit HIC and IHC, but that includes all the various forms. There's like the TCS, IHC, Mini, HIC, all of them, ICS 10, whatever you're running, if it needs a slit, this will work with it. Oversized, standard, so really nice to see these throwbacks coming back from over a decade ago. Good stuff, Andrew. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably a scooter rider and you're used to getting some hate from uh, 
skaters or anyone out there, we send the love back their direction and you know, we just keep doing our thing, but they're gonna drop a product calling us out. Hey, we're gonna make some money off of it too. So let's check out the enjoy line we're carrying right here. We got the don't tread on me t-shirt, scooters suck, yeah, so true. Now on the back, not gonna lie, I like the graphic. Scooters and snakes. If you've been a fan of the vault for a while, we had a vault snake logo, which is a hot seller. Maybe we'll update it again. If you like the shirt, pick it on up and get some money going into scootering. You can pick up the sticker too, right there. Same logo, just don't shred on me. Scooter on the top with the snake around it. I don't know what they're trying to say there. And then you definitely know about this. The big old scooters suck grip tape. This came out, we knew we had to get it. We've put it on a couple scooters already. We've seen a lot of customized one for just showing the scooter suck on one. So it doesn't really fit a full scoot deck yet. Maybe unless you have like a 24 inch six by six, but um, maybe the vault next time there's some, some hate coming from them. Maybe we'll drop our own self hate. And again, just to let you know, there is no hate coming from at least this scooter rider, this scooter brand here. We love our skateboarders, action sports. We all get along. I ride pretty much everything. Skateboard, very bad. Aggressive inline, BMX, snowboard, terribly. Brian's pretty good at snowboarding, but we love everyone out there. We just thought it was pretty ironic and funny that we'd carry it, and you guys are out there putting on your scooters. So as soon as it came out and we saw a couple people riding it, we're like, all right. And they sold it to us, so. Do we really suck that bad? <laughs> and before we get into the last of the products for what's new in the scootering, uh, my man, cameraman James, Man, man, cameraman James, that's his thumb. That's all you're gonna get to see. We said maybe a million. Come on, hit that subscribe button. He pulled some of his favorite YouTube comments up and I did just confirm that. He got word it was me, not Austin. He was, he was sad. He said, okay, this video's not gonna be good. And I know, I it's get true. it. But he pulled out some comments that maybe I'd find amusing. So let's see what you guys said and make sure you're commenting down there because you might get a chance to be in here. So the first one we got is Sam L said, I thought Sean left the vault, but glad to see him back. So, hey, I'm glad to be back. Look, I'm back again. Um, so I'm still in California and while I'm here, you might be able to catch me at the shop going into any events that we have around the area. And uh, soon I'll be leaving for Arizona and then traveling more. But I still am working behind the scenes at the vault, just mostly from home. So I get a chance to do these videos and I really like it. I'm glad Sam likes it too. Can't get rid of him. Yeah, I'm here. We got Guess Who said, at 11.33, you seriously asked if he wants the front wheel or the back wheel? Question mark, question mark, laughing, crying, crying emoji. Yes. He was blindfolded, disorientated, and I decided to add to that. And I, I can't remember if he answered. He didn't respond at all. He, he didn't, didn't respond. register to him. Do you want the front wheel or the back wheel? Front wheel. So I was trying to mess with him and him go like, what do you mean front wheel, back wheel? And I was gonna say it mattered, but obviously it didn't guess who noticed and now thinks I'm dumb. You're dumb, you didn't get the joke. I honestly can't wait for them to hit 1 million. They truly deserve it. So I was talking about it earlier. Braden, you know what's up. Thank you, brother. Major Arnold, I want to live in the Vault Pro Scooters warehouse. No, you don't. <laughs> we turn off the heat at night. We gotta save energy costs. It's cold. I know it's lovely California. We don't have snow, but it gets cold in the warehouse. And where are you gonna sleep? On all those new proto clamps? While it will be beautiful, not very comfortable, but come by visit, we'll give you a tour. The last one we got from Scooter Gang. You guys literally, got me started on scooters. Thank you so much with a heart. And that's what we're here for. And not only do we get him started in scootering, his YouTube account is Scooter Gang. So he's about it. He's part of the Scoot Scoot Bang Bang community. And all you guys watching are too. So thank you so much. Comment down there below, you know where to go. Maybe you'll get featured. All right, let's get back into the products. And we have a new Fender here from TSI. We're calling it the Satellite Fender. They didn't officially release a name yet, so if by the time this video comes out, we're wrong on it, it's all right. We just had to name it something, and since it was designed for the new Satellite deck, we figured, why not call it the Satellite Fender? Basically, the updated Chetty Fender, and uh, I don't know if he was part of the design process for that, because otherwise it might be the Chetty Fender V2, but this came out designed for, of course, the Satellite deck, which fits wider wheels, eh? And uh, this will fit wider wheels too. Should fit most top mounting 
brake systems. Comes with one bolt that will tighten with a four millimeter Allen, little washer to make sure it stays tight, and a locking nut so that you won't get too much rattle around in there. Made in America, you know, just the TSI quality we know. And if you're picking up the satellite deck, you're definitely gonna need this fender. So TSI making moves to get into the updated wheel game. Thank you, TSI. And let's get into our final product. It is Lucky Wheels Signature Series V2. So we actually got three new designs. And let's start out with, oh, someone like the world champ, baby. Yeah, we got John Marco Gatos Signature V2. Wait, is this V3? Holy moly, I might be wrong. All right, some of these are V1s. Some of these are V3, sorry. I try to dive in. I don't have that Austin Spencer pizzazz. This is actually the V3. When I held it up, I thought of, now I can remember two other designs. This is taking the toaster wheel and uh, those spokes look perfect if you uh, make them gold and do a little crown engraving because you know, world champ John Marco Gatos. This wheel comes in at 110 millimeter diameter and 24 millimeter core and as well 24 millimeter urethane. So it's gonna fit pretty much your standard scooter, eight millimeter axle, Lucky bearings pre-installed, ready to roll. This wheel only weighs 5.2 ounces, so if you're trying to become a world champ and throw in all those tail whips, it's nice and light. In our recent Vault Pro Scooters staff picks video where we went around the shop and asked everyone some of their favorite parts, Matisse mentioned Lucky Wheels. No one knows this, Lucky Wheels are probably one of the best wheels on the market. I gotta say, I only rode one pair, but they last me a long time, and the urethane felt really good. So they have quality urethane on these Lucky Wheels. These guys are sold individually, so if you're on the site, make sure you select two, otherwise you're only gonna get one, and that's a sad day when you open that up. Uh, they're only $34.95 per wheel. You're supporting Lucky, been around for a long time, and of course, the world champ. Our man, Cody Flom, third signature wheel. Now he's had some of the loudest cores out of all the signatures so far, but this time he went really plain with the core, keeping it simple, just these nice stripes here. What do we got on this side? Cody Flom logo. I really like the stripes he has going on here. Uh, we're always calling anything with stripes here Vucci or Gucci-esque, but I don't know if that's inspired by it, but just really clean. And how could you not love this urethane? The red and blue tie-dye urethane, kind of an homage to his last wheel with the red and blue on each side. And Cody went a little bit different. The core is still 24, but the urethane is actually 26 millimeters. You can even see right there, just it's only two millimeters, but just how more gradual the curve is. And that feels really good in the bowl. So uh, Cody props for, again, another awesome design. And um, just that little bit of extra carving. <whistles> we got one more signature wheel. Now this is his first signature wheel and he absolutely. Get there, get there. Knocked it out of the park with that one. This is Darcy Cherry Evans, and I am in absolute love with this. He has a, a SIG deck to go along with this too, the same design, and uh, I've just, I didn't like Arizona Tea at first, I grew to love it, and uh, just the vibe of the can, man. And I've always loved uh, the Japanese cherry blossoms, and I wanted to work with uh, that design myself. Walter's running some grip tape with the same design on it, and I actually have the same grip tape, just a little strip on mine. We thought it was both really cool. And like the next week these dropped and we're like, dude, we're gonna have to get some. Swirl on the urethane. Not as much tie dye as Cody's. Maybe that is just on this particular wheel, but the pink and uh, teal just really go so good together. And I was kind of surprised that the background for this is white, but I really like it. I mean, this is one of the most beautiful wheels I've ever seen to come out and it's from our people over at Lucky. Same rebound rating as before, that same quality urethane. To say it again, this is Darcy's first SIG product. It's so good. So props for being part of Lucky and coming out with this amazing wheel design. And that is gonna do it. It was a small week, but took a little bit of time. Uh, props to Austin for always getting this done. He actually picked out the product and uh, wrote down all these lovely notes here. So love for Austin. He's great at what he does. I hope he's here the next time we're filming this and that he gets uh, that SIG deck to look at. It's really nice. So thanks for watching guys. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe, share it. And thank you for being here. We'll see you at one mil like my man Bowden said. I don't think his name was Bowden. Baden, Braden.
<laughs> All right, sorry. I'm very bad with names and apparently very good at videos. Love you. See you next time. Brayden. Brayden. It's Brayden. <laughs>